Hi everyone. In today's lesson we're going to talk about operations with matrices. We're going to begin with adding and subtracting. So the sum or difference of two matrices of the same size is a matrix with elements that are the sums or differences of the corresponding elements of the two given matrices. Addition and subtraction is not defined for matrices of different sizes. So let's do a few examples so we can see if we understand the concept. So the directions say perform the indicated operation if possible. If it's not possible, then just write not possible. So we're going to take the first element and add it with its corresponding first element. Very simple. So 2 plus 3 is 5. So the first element of the sum is 5. Then we're going to do negative 3 plus 1, which is a negative 2. Then we're going to do 0 plus 2, which is 2. Then 1 plus negative 3, which is a negative 2. Then 2 plus 2, which is 4. Negative 5 plus 5, which is 0. So that's the sum. Okay, now the second one is a matrix with variables. So I can add them just as I would with numbers. So the first term is A and W. If I add A and W together, I simply get A plus W. So that would be my first term of the matrix. Then if I add B and X, I will get B plus X. Then I have C and Y. If I add those together, that's just C plus Y. And then the last term, D plus Z, which is just D plus Z. So this is my matrix. Okay, why don't you see if you can do the subtraction one, and then we'll go to the last problem together. Hit resume when you're finished. Okay, subtraction works just the same. So you're going to do 3 minus a negative 2. So some people don't like to have to worry about that distributing of the negative because for each of these problems you have to do 3 minus a negative 2, negative 2 minus 2, 5 minus 3, 0 minus 4. So instead of leaving it as subtraction, which you absolutely can, some people prefer to distribute the negative to all of the pieces and change it to plus. So what do I mean by that? Some people prefer to make this a plus sign and then change all of the signs in here and then just add. So 3 plus 2 is 5, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, 5 minus 3 is 2, and then 0 plus negative 4 is negative 4. So however you decided to do it, that is your difference of those two matrices. Now, if we take a look at the last example, we're actually going to notice that we actually cannot add them because they don't have the same size. This matrix right here has three rows by two columns. So this is a three by two matrix. And then this matrix has two rows and three columns. So this is a two by three and you can only add matrices that have the same size. So this one is not possible. And the reason why you can't add them if they're not the same size is because when I add this row, we would add this row with this row, but I don't have a third element to add to this four, and then when I get down here, I don't have any elements down here to add to it. So that's why it's not possible. Okay, let's move on to multiplying a matrix by a scalar factor. So the product of a matrix, excuse me, the product of a number K and a matrix M is denoted KM is a matrix formed by multiplying each element of M by K. So very simply put, we are basically going to distribute this negative 2 to all of the elements in this matrix. So we're going to take 3 and multiply it by negative 2. That gives us negative 6. Then we'll take negative 1 times negative 2. That'll give us 2. 
0 times negative 2 is 0, and then so on and so on. So negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. And then negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So this is my matrix. So we could call this matrix M, and we can call the number in front the number that we are multiplying it by, so this would be K. So this whole matrix here is K times M. Okay? That is the definition. Okay? All right, let's move on to the next page. Okay, what I'd like to go over now is how to multiply two matrices together using matrix multiplication. So the first thing that you want to make sure that you do is check the size of the matrix before you start. The amount of columns in the first matrix needs to be the same as the number of rows in the second. So if I have an A by B matrix and I'm multiplying it by a C by D matrix, the B and the C must be equal in order for this mul matrix multiplication to even be possible. And then the size of the product, the size of the answer, will actually be an A by D matrix. So what I'd like to do is look at these four examples below and first see if the product is possible and what the size of that product would be. So in the first example, we have a matrix that has one, two, three rows by two columns and two rows by two columns. So we have a three by two matrix that I'm multiplying by a two by two. Now do you see how the columns of one matrix are equal to the rows of the other? Therefore, this matrix multiplication is actually possible and the answer will be a three by two matrix. All right, let's look at the second one. We have two rows by three columns and three rows by two columns. So we have a two by three multiplied by a three by two and the rows and the columns are equal. So our answer will have a size of two by two. Okay, why don't you try the last two and hit resume when you're ready for the answers. Okay, the third example was three rows by one column and one row by two columns. These were the same, so the result would have been a three by two matrix. And the last one was two rows by three columns multiplied by two rows and three columns. And since these two are not the same, this matrix multiplication is actually not possible. Okay? So, I'd like to actually go through the matrix multiplication now. So I'm going to do an example with you. We'll say we'll do the first one together, okay? So we're actually going to use a process called the dot product, and I'm not sure if some of you are aware of that. But the dot product is something that they use, I believe, in science classes. Um, but if you don't know it, it's not a big deal. Um, but that's how we're going to multiply these two matrices together. So I know that my answer to this first problem will be a three rows by two columns. Okay? So I have this spot here, this spot, this spot. Then I have this one, this one, and this one. So if I want to find this first spot of the matrix, I have to multiply the first row by the first column. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually show you the work down here. Okay? So this first row by this first column. So we're going to take the zero and multiply it by a negative four, the first with the first. We're going to write that down here. This will be a negative four. And then we're going to add that 
to 5 times negative 2. The second spot with the second spot. So 5 times negative 2 is a negative 10. And we add those together, and that will be our answer for this spot right here. Now I just realized I put 0 times negative 4 to be negative 4, but obviously that's 0. So when we add a 0 and negative 10 together, we get negative 10. So that is my first spot of the result. Now, if I want to get the second spot of the result, I'm going to take the first row and multiply it by the second column. So 0 times 4 is 0. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. So we're going to do 0 plus negative 20. You add those together and you get negative 20. So that is my second position. Okay, if I want to find the second row first position or first second row first position right here we're gonna take the second row and multiply it by the first column so negative 3 times negative 4 is a positive 12 1 times negative 2 is a negative 2 so 12 plus negative 2 and that adds to 10 if I want to find this spot here, I'll take the second row again and multiply it by the second column. So negative 3 times negative 4 is a negative 12. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. So negative 12 plus negative 4 is negative 16. And if I want to find the last row, I'm going to do the last row times the first column. So negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 4 is a positive 20. 1 times negative 2 is a negative 2. So 20 plus negative 2. And that'll give us 18. And then the last space here will be this row times this column. So negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. So negative 20 plus negative 4, which is negative 24. And that's my answer. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is to try this second example on your own. But just realize, we're doing this whole row times this whole column. So 5 times negative 4 plus 3 times negative 3 plus 5 times 3. This times this, this times this, this row times this, this row times that. And we're done. All right. So what I'd like you to try to do on your own is this second example here and this third example here. See what you can do, and we'll start the class by going over those. All right. Try your best, and I'll see you when we return.